The Hangover. Oh, how how, how many years has it been since it's been released? Too long. Was it 2007? Uh, 2007? 2004? What year was The Hangover released? I don't know, but uh... I know it's I know it's already uh, a long. It's already been. Yeah, it's when was it released? Jesus, 2009. It was released in 2009. Man, so you it's were 15 years. Yeah, it's a it's a 15 year old movie already. I remember when this movie came out in theaters, The Hangover, the movie about like no, normally you get a movie about. Obviously, this movie is about you have the you have the four you have four friends they go to celebrate a friend's bachelor party. And all hell breaks. Three friends and a and a three friends and an Aussie. Yeah, three (laughs) friends and an Aussie. Um, you but you get you get them in Vegas, and then this is what happens after the after the bachelor party, right? Normally, this is the one thing. Like in this movie, it's like this is the consequences of the bachelor party. Normally, when you see movies like this, it's normally you they go and they show you what happens in the bachelor party. Everything happens during the bachelor party. Here is like okay, what happens after all that crap? That we don't and even how, know what happened. Yeah, that, they're just trying to figure out what happened. Yeah, yeah. And, and, that's, that, and, that's and why the did they yeah. not know? Because they were roofied. That's no, right. they were given this, ecstasy. R- it was roofalin roofies. They got roofies. They got roofied. They should have called them ceiling. They, what no floories? Floor, yeah, floories. Roundies. Don't ruin that joke. Yeah, so yeah. Um, was this after this is after Wedding Crashers, obviously, right? Yes. So, because all the movies before this, I saw Bradley Cooper. He was playing like the douchebag guy. He always right? yeah, most, do, like like Wedding Crashers. I mean, he, he I mean, he has that face. He has that yeah. face. Like it's that you're a good looking dude, and you have to be a douchebag. Yeah, it's like uh, the dude from. Um... Yeah, that guy. Oh, that guy. Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. cool. There's, there's another brother. Matthew Lawrence and you know, no one, Matthew Lawrence. Lawrence. Then there's the unknown Lawrence and then Joey Lawrence. <laughs> the Lawrence. The, Larry, the, Larry, Larry Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> Larry Lawrence. I mean, the, the parents ran out of, ran, yeah, Lawrence Lawrence. And Larry Lawrence or is that actually Lawrence Lawrence? Lawrence Deuce? Everyone. I go by Lawrence. Um... Get the Brad- I'm, trying to, I'm trying to get his. I'm trying to get his. I'm trying to get oh, Bradley Cooper's filmography out. here. Nothing. Com- nothing. Com- Bradley Cooper's filmography. Nothing comes up. His his performances. Here we go. So before the Hangover, Waiting right. Crashes was in 05. Mm-hmm. Then he was in the. He was in Failure to Launch, a Matthew McConaughey movie. Then yeah, he, of course, he, and he was. I remember him in The Rocker. He was one of the bands. He was in Vesuvius. Hell yeah. He was in Vesuvius. Great movie. Great he, did movie. Play, he did play a, a lead role in a Clive Barker movie. I remember that Midnight Meat Train. But see, my the biggest thing that I remember him from was uh, was Wedding was uh, Wedding Crashers. Yeah, hundred percent. And that's where that's where he. And I to actually, me, he was he was a douche. Uh-huh. And I actually didn't remember him from that. Really, that's the only because that's the only biggest thing that I that I saw him in before yeah. that, because in two thousand nine he had uh a but he had a few movies right he had uh he's just not that into you he had uh the hangover he had all about steve Raz- uh, was it uh well, steve what's it called? The- yeah about the- no what's it, what, what's that what is that award show that they give the raspberries the razzies the razzies yeah the grazzy award winning all about steve Great movie. Yeah, the, the yeah. movie with uh, Sandra Bullock and her boots. And she actually, where well, she showed up to the Razzies and accepted the award. No, oh, let's see. That's what boots. I like. She was like, "I haven't taken me so serious." I she accepted the award, and then that in that same year, she won the. Uh, did she Oscar get for the Blind Side too? For the Blind Side. For a Razzie? Was that the movie? No, she got a Razzie for All About Steve. Oh. But then she got an, an Oscar, Oscar nomination, for, or she won, yeah, or something like that, right? She won an Oscar. Um, yeah. eh, whatever. But see, but. The Hangover. This is one of those. This is one of those movies that it was the resurgence of the rated R comedy. I remember because there weren't that many rated R comedies like wide, wide released in theater comedies, wide released in theaters. Right. I don't. I don't remember them being. It had been a while before we were seeing rated R movies released in in theaters. Rated R comedies. Sorry, rated R comedies. Hey, those uh, comedies were like being brought back. Mike Tyson. 
That's true. This, this, this. I remember. I remember that was also when it came out. Everyone was like talking about Michael, Michael Tyson. Yeah, and we ran into Chunky Mike Tyson. Yeah, Yeah, Chunky. Yeah, this is. We saw Chunky uh, Mike. Well, I saw Chunky Mike Tyson at uh, Vegas. At the gas station in Vegas. Yeah, Mm. I remember you said, "Oh, it's Mike Tyson." That's Chunky Tyson, though. Yeah, that's Tyson Chili Tyson. That's right. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's the hangover. The hangover is fornicated. (laughs) Pretty much. So we talked for a while. Yep. <laughs> uh, but this is this is My an interesting movie too, because crazy. because this oh. is okay. Obviously, this is the one that started. That was it's a, it's no, a three movies that three movies that were released in the Hangover. It was a Hangover trilogy. The first one being, in my opinion, the best. It's, yeah. You get the introduction to Zach Galifianakis Allen. You get Stu. This movie um, is the reason that Ken Jong has a career. That's that is actually Definitely. true. A hundred percent. Without this movie, no one would know this in Community. I'll give it to you. he wouldn't have Community without the Hangover. Yeah, he wouldn't, he wouldn't have uh, had the Community. He wouldn't have. Uh, well, things because he was he played a doctor and other stuff because well he was a doctor at the time because he was a doctor. Yeah, when he was mm-hmm. in uh and was it uh how was that stupid movie with uh, knocked up Steph Rogan there you go knocked up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, you oh I thought you were gonna go with, I thought there was a story there. No, <laughs> no, I was trying to remember what's that damn movie. We played a doctor. Nurse. Doctor Ken, done, he, the TV he's show. Done a, he's done a lot, but he's done a lot I, since yeah. then. A lot. But I don't. I don't. Time. He's yeah. a lot of cameo. He's a cameo guy. He's yeah. You can't put him as a lead for anything. This is the closest mm-hmm. thing to a lead you should get, and it's and he does well because he he knocked it out of the park being Mister Chow. Just, yeah. But I I think he he's pat, not. He the... pat Marita the crap out of it though. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, but I yeah I don't I I rewatched it and he wasn't that funny in this. He's not, but he's, he's not in the movie that much. In the sequels, I think he's funnier he, in the sequels he, than he was. They in give this. him more to do. This was more shock value because he was actually he just the first time he you was, see him he's naked, he jumps out, out of the dung. yeah I mean not much but whooped hey, it out. Mr. Bush, Mr. Bush. It, it just <laughs> reminds me of the of, of the Deuce Bigelow European gigolo. I got two inches <laughs> for your mama. Yeah. When he gets the tutu roll and puts it back in, uh-huh. and he puts it in his pocket, he yeah. takes it out of his pocket. Um, <laughs> You're a no, uh, Go yeah, but he's Ken, Ken, Ken John is Ching Jong is not in the movie that much. He's he's just known for the those memorable scenes when he comes out naked, and then Mr. Chow, everyone was doing the Mr. Chow voice. I remember when the movie came out, yeah, yeah. Mr. Chow, everyone was doing the Mr. Chow, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. right? Uh, uh, but this movie is carried by. By, mainly carried by Bradley Cooper, uh, and and Zach Galifianakis is he's the he was the one to bring in a, he brought in a lot more of the comedy. Yeah, the right? little, because, little bromance that's going on there. Yeah, but see, but Zach worked well with uh, with Ken Jeong because when they were together, it, it it worked a lot better. They weren't in the, they weren't together that long either. Why not? Like, but in, no, no, in, but even I, in, in that they had a little little scene there, and then they had uh in the sequels they had scenes together, a lot more scenes together, and it worked with them. Mm-hmm. No, but I don't. I don't think Bradley Cooper carries the movie. I think it's it's a. I really is like a full ensemble. Uh, even I mean, Ed it's Helms mainly those is really, three guys. But it, everyone but who Helms shows is up good in this too. I mean, he didn't even bust the. Nut. I can't say the word. He didn't even smash insider. The, huh? Like he's yeah. just so push a pushover. Oh, when yeah. they're talking about his girlfriend sleeping with the bartender. The bartender. The waiter. And she didn't even like it. She was drunk. <laughs> um. <laughs> But but it's 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 like a bunch of little cameos yeah, too, and, it's, it's ca- and, and it's and it's cameos from comedians, right? Uh, yeah. Like like at Mike the Epps. at the wet at like the wedding chapel or Mike Epps, right? Hey, this guy I thought I was gonna eat my dick, right? <laughs> that whole, like those those scenes were fun, like just because they show up out of nowhere, and it's like yeah. they're piecing this thing whole thing together. Stu getting married to uh, Heather Graham, and then her breastfeeding right in front of him, and then Alan's just staring. <laughs> I mean, I, but um, hey, easy. You know the. You know how they were talking about oh. how he ended up in the hospital. Uh, who, what's his name? Uh, who, uh, Phil Bradley Cooper. Yeah, Phil. Uh huh. Yeah, he ends up in the hospital, but they never explain like what really happened. Why? Then. Why? I I watched the uh, the movie and I watched the uh, the special features. Uh huh. And they had extra pictures from the camera. Yeah, and it looks like it looks like uh, Stu and Phil actually get into a fight at the chapel. That's why he ends up in the hospital because he's trying to he's trying to hook up with uh, his new wife. 
and then that's and that's another thing they don't they they don't really mention that Bradley Cooper is uh, like they kind of sprinkle in that he's married and he, he says, has kids until the very end. Yeah, but at no, the he very says end, it in the beginning. I thought he was, and then when I watched it, I was like, when I watched it, I was like, is he talking about his the, the students, like his kids in the students, because he's a teacher. Yeah, yeah. Right, but then when wait, you see, like, what, after what everything money went he down, take? he took he took money from something in the, the from, kids. Yeah, they, they for a trip. The kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ninety dollar trip. Yeah. It's ninety dollars, kids. Got yeah. him. Got him. Got to make money somehow. Uh, but I, I do think this is this is this is this movie has. This starts uh, off the argument I, though about are dentists really doctors? Mm. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they not perform. Dent- I, mean, I, 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 I minor I, surgeries. I, I like if I'm, if I'm going to have a heart attack, I don't, I don't want a dentist to like, you know, I don't want <laughs> a dentist to just kind of like you know fix my teeth. I want him to you know. Where about my heart? <laughs> uh, isn't that who fixed your teeth? Nope. <laughs> it was the dentist, not doctor. Isn't it? Isn't it a doctor of of dental dentistry? Isn't that isn't that the title? Isn't yeah, but they, also, they, they, they also say it's harder to get into uh, dental uh, dental school than it is to get in medical school. That's because there's less uh, medical schools. I mean, more, I less guess. less dental schools. But yeah, no, but you you have the ongoing joke in the movie about yeah, the, uh, as a dentist really a doctor, right? The whole the whole Stu argument, and Stu gets his confidence by the end of the movie, right? Because he's a pushover to his girlfriend. Yeah. He wants to propose to someone who who beats him. Mm-hmm. Who, she beat you. It was only twice. She was under pressure. She was under stress. Sounds very familiar. I know. <laughs> it's, it's my life. It's my uh, Stu. You're stupid. <laughs> Very. Uh, That's not the point, though. The point. The point is, she beats me. <laughs> no, but uh, someone's gonna see this and they're gonna call, <laughs> like, welfare check on you. Uh, no, but well, yeah. I mean, this movie. This movie does have a lot. Check. Yeah. Yeah, Same here. Everyone. Uh, but I think I, I, this movie does like it's, it's like iconic scenes. I remember like this. This did the revival. People going to Vegas constantly, and everyone wanted to go to the real Caesar's Palace and. All this stuff was going on. I was, was so many people with little baby the Pedro. They do the jokes uh, at Caesar's Palace. It I'm says sure they the, do. The pager thing, the pager service, and if Caesar lived in the. <laughs> and see, so... and it's so dumb. But this, this, if without that, without this movie, like again, I feel. What's his name? Todd Phillips. He he was making like oh what was it old school? He did old school before this. Okay, that's a great movie though. He did old like school. school. He did. I love old um, school. Road what trip. Else did he, what did, he did road trip. He did road trip. <clears throat> did road trip. Old school. Especially when um, uh, when when uh, when he tries to like suck those toes. Uh, he's always uh, he's always uh, doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> Not a fan of due date. <laughs> no, I don't think anyone is. I, I like that, due date. Well, yeah. you're a piece of trash. That's not the point. You know what? Fair enough. He did old school. <laughs> then he did oh school for scoundrels. Does. School for Scoundrels. That was ah, another trash movie. movie. Another trash movie. Then, then when they That's did, Billy Bo was just saying yes to yeah. everything. Then they did Hangover, He's right? But then, yes if you notice, Hangover and Due Date are mm. kind of similar. They look like similar movies. They feel similar, like when you watch it. Yeah. Even though it you wasn't, only, even though you only go to Vegas and hang out there, it still feels like a road trip movie. It, it wasn't. A, you have to follow every step. Yeah. You, it wasn't. It wasn't until I think. <clears throat> What was it? What are the directing movies as a director? Star, Starsky and Hutch. Hey, that movie's that movie's dope. I like Dan that movie. Band. This movie made me a fan no, of the Dan Band. No, that's what, that's what old school was. Old school did the Dan Band thing. All right. Wedding mm-hmm. Crashers did the Dan Band you make, thing. You make a lot of sense. Right? So Dan Band, really, if looking at it now, then it wasn't that great. The you know whole Dan though? Band thing. I, I'll take it to the candy shop. Okay, uh, but it really wasn't until like he, he like he was I'm just making Hangover movies and he was making movies that because the Hangover two and Hangover three weren't as good as the original. But Who then after fame? he did War Dogs, who sings Fame at a at a wedding? But it wasn't until like, War Dogs because War Dogs was it was a decent movie, and it wasn't a comedy. It had comedic comedic, mo- comedic moments. No, War but it wasn't a, a comedy. Movie. I mean, but except then, for the whole John Rohill Hill thing, it's fine. It's a good movie. Then, then he went off, went off and did Joker. He went off and made Joker. And fucking ruined. Yeah, Joker. and everybody was worried about it. Yeah, because it's the guy who made The Hangover. Yeah, 
Hangover 2, Hangover 3, right? I even forgot that there was a Hangover 3. I was like, oh, there's a third part to yeah, this? Do I even remember what John happens Goodman. to it? John Goodman, I don't remember bad, it. He's the he's the he's the big bad in that movie. <laughs> he's also he's also a bad guy yeah. in uh, Oh Brother Where Art Thou? And uh, was it a uh, Clorfield? So place? I don't know. Like, and Roseanne. Yeah. <laughs> so I, don't know. Uh, I mean, but then, but yeah, I mean, this movie ooh, in ooh, itself, Raising it's, Arizona. I love that movie. God, this movie in me. itself, I think it's it, it it's a it's a it's a good it's still it's a still a funny comedy. It's not as funny as I remember it. Yeah, exactly. But it, it went. I watched it but again. It went. It took it from a an eight to to a five. I mean, not that bad. It wasn't that. No, go from no it was. It was funny. I, I but it wasn't... Yeah, there was still some times that I laughed. Uh, yeah. I it just I wasn't as funny as I remember. Like dynamite. It. Oh no, no, no. no. But I've no, seen no. it's because I've seen it before too. I'm just. Yeah. No, I've seen I Black think, Dynamite yeah. every time. Still, <laughs> you know, blackout every once in a while. That's true. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah, I mean, ult- ultimately, is it is it, it's still a good a good movie to watch. It's still a good movie to watch uh, now because it, it 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 works. I mean, it's fine. It's just not as funny as I remember it, or it's not funny to me now than it was when I saw it in tw- in two thousand nine. The funniest yeah. thing is that that the 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 one guy who is the the groom is only in the movie in the beginning and the end, and in hindsight, doesn't seem very interesting. And I don't care about him. No, I don't care about Just, the groom at all, at all. Justin Bartha, yeah, like he was. What I remembered him from before that was with National Treasure. Was he, that he played? He played? He played Nick Nick uh, Nicholas Cage's sidekick in National Treasure. Yeah, yeah. That's all I remember him from. I don't really remember him from the for the Hangover. Who you remember when when people talk about the Hangover? And even if you look at the poster of the movie, who do you see in the poster? Yeah, you see Bradley, Bradley Cooper. Cooper um. What's his face? Uh, Ed Helms Helm. and Zach Galifianakis and Carlos. Yeah, and the baby. That's it. Even in no Hangover monkey. Two and Hangover Three, he's not even in it. He's like not even in the posters. So like, kind of like Oz right now. Yeah, he's completely checked out of the movie. Fuck yeah! What? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, is it? Is it? Is it? If you haven't seen it, I would. I would recommend. Uh, I would recommend watching it. I think it's, it's if you if you like silly oh, silly I... vulgar stuff. Yeah, definitely. I like silly vulgar stuff. We know. They, yeah. I mean, we fifteen years. Fifteen years later, it, I, it's, it's still funny. I think it's still funny. Yeah, the guy it's was not. The guy was like, not as funny as I remember, but it's still funny. Right, it's still funny. It still works. I mean, the you know the, the all the casino stuff, all the sh- shenanigans they get into. Right, it's it's you remember things from this movie yeah. even even after this time. There's time. There's pieces of the movie that are still living out there that people still talk a about. Man, and still make those out jokes. of a trunk, naked, mm. onto onto Bradley Cooper's face. Exactly, naked and at the same time not naked because you couldn't really see anything. It was a lot of bush. It looked that like Captain Caveman. That was, was Captain amazing. Caveman. That's, 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 and that was that's there's no CGI. No CGI there, baby. <laughs> no, <laughs> that ain't no sock in my crotch. No, we we can tell Ken Jong. Now I wonder tell. how many takes for that scene. If that were me, I'm like, you're getting one, and that's it. <laughs> they, they made sure not to feed him any water; just put him in the trunk. He's like, all right, when you finally let him out, he'll come out feral. Bradley, he's gonna jump on your shoulders, rub his nope. rope cubes all over your face. <laughs> What's he wearing? He's wearing a merkin. He's wearing a merkin. Is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, I can grow a lot. Like a man can grow a lot of hair. Well, uh, you know, but I would say I would recommend watching that. I would recommend watching this movie. I think it's a, I think it's a decent watch. It's still, still after all this time, it, it, it has uh, funny it, scenes. It's not as funny as I remember, but it has funny mm, scenes. I'd recommend yeah. it. If yeah. a man jumped on me like that, you get a power bomb. <laughs> ah, boom! Up to your sorry. bed. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, well. On that note, this has been Vinny. Wreck them tonsils. Uh, Come here, big boy. <laughs> and it. Ha <laughs> ha. We'll see you guys next time.